Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we'll be creating a bar chart. So let's click on the cell and then let's create the function that will create our bar chart. So we first add the comment and say create the bar chart def plot bar. Okay, so now the next thing that we need to do is we need to load the data source. So the data source will be derived from our DF Quake Freak um, data frame that we use to store the years and the count. So it will be this data frame. So what we will be doing in our bar chart is that we will be plotting the years and the counts for each year. Okay, so that will be the year and the number of earthquakes for that year okay so let's create a column data source cds equals column data source data equals dict okay and then we will have two lists which will be the list of years and then the list of counts so it's df quake free and then we want to select the year column dot values dot to list and then the number of quakes we will get from the counts column and then convert that to a list Okay, so now we have our data source. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to create our tooltip. So the label will be here. And then we get the year value from, from the year's data source, which we have created. And then the next label will be number of earthquakes. And then we'll get the values from numquakes that we have created over here. Okay, and now the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a figure for our bar chart, which will basically be the layout. So let's create some space. Okay, so bar chart equals figure. Now let's add a title and we will call it frequency of earthquakes by year and then we add a plot height of 400 and then a plot width of 1150 and then x axis label will be years and then the y-axis label will be number of occurrences and then x minor ticks equals 2 and then the y range will be starting from zero all the way to the maximum count so we'll get the maximum count value from df quake freak and then counts dot max and then plus 100 to create the space at the top
and then toolbar location equals none and tooltips equals tooltips that we created so now we have created the figure for our plot so now the next thing that we need to do is we need to add the bars so let's create the code to add the bars create a vertical bar so it's bar chart dot v bar for vertical bar so the x value will be years then bottom equals zero and top equals number of quakes top or y will be the number of quakes and then color will be red so it's cc and four zeros one two three four and then the width of each bar will be 0 0.75 and then the legend will be year and then our data source for the bar chart will be CDS and now the next thing that we need to do is we need to style the bar chart so we created a custom style function to make sure that we have more or less the same look and feel for each graph that we create so let's style our graph with that exact same style function so it's bar chart equals style and then we pass the bar chart and this will return the style styled bar chart back into our bar chart object and now we can show the bar chart and then return it okay and now outside of the function declaration we can call the function so it's plot bar okay and then shift enter okay so we had to add a comma over here forgot about that so it's shift enter okay so now you can see we have successfully created our bar chart so we have the number of occurrences in our y-axis ranging from 0 to 400 we have our legend which is called year as well as our bars for each year and if we hover over a bar it will show us the year and the number of earthquakes for that year as you can see our legend or our tooltip is displaying the information that we need and we can see that in the year 2011 that was the year where the most number of earthquakes occurred so it's a bit of an anomaly compared to the rest of the data okay and we have our heading so we have successfully created our bar chart so thanks a lot for tuning in i'll see you guys in the next video